James, this is just to show you the attraction between three sheets of this mylar that's been charged at 6,000 volts for approximately an hour. I've turned the power off. The plates now are shorted across each other. And if I try to pick up the top plate here, trying to pick it up, it will not let go of the bottom plate. It is stuck to it by simply electrostatic attraction. It will not let go, and I'm, I'm really giving it up there. It finally let go. There's the plate underneath, but it was that, it's that strong of attraction on it. And I'm going to hang these up on the wall and just let them uh, sit overnight and see how they do. Just to show you the, uh, just to show you the electronic, electrostatic negative portion right here. That is, um, uh, approximately five or six hundred volts per uh, surface charge. It actually looks a little higher than that and this is just off the corner of one piece here and using the meter. This is a very expensive electrostatic charge detector meter and it's not too accurately calibrated but it does pretty good. I'll go into that more later but just wanted to show you the first step here. But these are the two plates that charges the film. Right there is the power supply. Here's a high voltage TV probe I have. It'll go up to 30,000 volts. And I can adjust zero to about 7,000 volts with a variac here into this power supply, which then goes over to the plates that you put the film between. Uh, you can also uh, heat them up. Depending on the material, if it will shrink with heating, you can heat the plates while it, the voltage is on it and cause the film to shrink and even set the charge more strongly. But I find out with this particular film I don't have to. So, Ben from the world's smallest lab, blah, 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 and good night.